let's look at some cool ways to hack your Raspberry Pi. One of the great things about Raspberry Pi is it's a device that you are fully in control of. And one of the ways that you can take control is through something called Terminal. Terminal is another way that we can get our computer to do something. So rather than clicking and dragging and dropping things, we can type commands straight into the computer. You've probably seen people do this in films and TV shows, but let's try some things ourselves. Okay, so I've opened the terminal, just going to make it full screen. Two of the most common commands that you can use in Linux are ls and cd. So cd is used to change the directory, so changing the folder that you're currently sitting in. So if I type pwd, it tells me the current folder that I'm sitting in, the present working directory is home and then pi. I can use ls to list which other folders I can go into. So I could go into the desktop or the Python games folder. So for example, let's say we wanted to move into the Python games. I could say cd Python games. Hit enter and it moves me into that folder. And this time you can see if I type pwd, you're not just in the Py folder anymore, you're in the Python games folder. So there's literally hundreds of these different commands that you can use in Linux. If you look on the desktop of your Pi, there's a reference manual where you can go through all of them, but I just wanted to pick out some really cool ones to start with. So if we wanted to use this one, there's one called echo, and you can type in a phrase, you can type your name, and the computer will repeat back to you whatever it is that you type in. Great. There's one quite similar to that called um, rev. So if we type in rev and hit enter, now whatever you type, will be reversed. Which is quite cool. To quit out of that, you use Control and C. That'll take you out of that. Why don't we look at how you would install a package so you can add in extra commands as well. So, try this one. sudo apt get install cmatrix. So, because we're connected to the internet, it's going to download this package now from the internet. It's going to install it on our machine. You can read through some of these commands. Some of them will make more sense than others, but it kind of gives you an idea of what's going on under the hood of your Raspberry Pi. Great, so that's that installed. So now if I run C matrix, ooh, wow, isn't that awesome? That's pretty cool. Okay, so I'm going to quit out of that. Okay, let's try and do something a bit dangerous with our Raspberry Pi. So your Raspberry Pi gives you a lot of powers that you might not normally get with a sort of general computer that you're using. What we're going to do is we're going to create something called a fork bomb. So a fork bomb is a nasty little bit of code which basically replicates itself over and over and over again, using up all your system's resources until you basically deliberately crash your machine. So Let's look at the code that we need to do to do that. So if we go semicolon, open parenthesis, close parenthesis. Then we've got a curly bracket. And we use colon and a vertical bar. And then another colon. Then we're going to have an ampersand and a space. Close the curly brackets and then the colon again. So when we run this line of code by hitting enter, it will execute the fork bomb. So actually it's a semicolon and then the colon. Okay, so let's try running that. So now it's just going to call itself over and over again in the background. Until it gets to the point where the computer crashes. starting to get less responsive already. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's not even it's not even responding to anything now. So the only way that I'd be able to solve this is to turn off my computer at the wall. So I can do that again in a minute. But cool, we broke it. Now, of course, it's fine for you to run this code on your Raspberry Pi. It's your machine. You can crash it if you want to. But it's not the type of thing you should run on other people's machines. Remember, the Raspberry Pi and these commands give you a lot of control, but it's important that you use these powers for good.